factor and solve. You with me on that? The vertex is the only one that's just a little bit different. Remember, we're switching variables here, so our vertex would be given by x comma negative b over 2a. You find this one and plug it into here. So I'll make that like I did earlier, question mark. You have to find it in terms of y first, because now y is your independent variable. Does that make sense why we switch those things? Because now you don't have any x coefficients to work with. You only have y coefficients. So that's the only one that's different. Uh, your, your x-intercept would still be that number. Your y-intercepts would be set that equal to zero and, and factor and solve it. Your vertex is just reversed. Same exact idea. Try one of those out when you get home. Just think about it as if you're, it's on its side. Does that make sense to you? So in our case, we could, what I mean by this is x-intercept is negative 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's right there. Your y-intercepts, if you factor that, you're going to get uh, x plus 5 and x minus 1. That means we get 1. Oh, did I do that right? There we go. y equals negative 5 and y equals 1. So we have y equals 1 right here. It's weird, right, because it's y is, is positive up this way. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then you'd find your vertex. Your vertex would be somewhere around there. Let's make those bigger. There we go. But that's the, the basic idea. So try that out on your own. The only one I didn't do is the vertex, but I think you guys can handle that. Can you find out your A here? What's your A? What's your B? What's your C? So plug in negative B over 2A. Then we plug that into the function to find x instead of finding y. That will give you your vertex in this case. Now, the, the other, other concept we have to look at is circles. We're going to do an introduction to circles right now. I'll give you more specifics next time. What is a circle? It's round. Round. What's round mean? Oh, good. <laughs> That's not circular reasoning at all. It touches. It touches all the time. It touches all the time. Very good, very good. This touches all the time. Is that a circle? No. If you're really blinded. What's a circle? How would you, if, if you had to make a circle, if you had to make a perfect circle, because when I draw a circle, I know we all know what a circle is. A circle is this. That's actually not even a circle. If you had to draw a circle like that, it's probably not gonna, gonna work out that well, right? Unless you're really talented. It still is not going to be a perfect circle. How would you draw a perfect circle? Has a radius? Well, of course circles have radius, but how would you do it? If I said draw a circle, what would you need to draw a circle? Oh, that thing. Compass. Well, you could use a compass, but if, if those weren't invented. <laughs> <laughs> Trace something that's around. You need that stick. Tell us the answer. Sure, you, let's say here's, here's sand. You have a sand floor, okay? You have a sand floor, you have a stick. What else do you need? Nothing. Say what? Measure. Something to measure. So I have some rope. Can you draw a circle with a stick, two sticks and a rope? Yes. How would you do it? Say what? Okay, what if I meant that I want you to draw a circle in the sand, like you just go and make a circle, how would you do it? Think about it. You have, you have two sticks, or one, you could have one stick in your finger. You have a finger, if you want. You still have fingers. And you have a, you have a rope. How would you do it? Tie the rope to the two sticks, and then go around. Tie the rope to the two sticks. One in the middle. Okay, one in the middle. Is that going to make a circle? Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely, that's a perfect circle. In fact, that's the definition of a circle. A circle is a set of points a fixed distance away from some center. So you just created a circle. So when we talk about circle, we mean we, mean we have this center point. We've got this thing, our rope, going from the center to the edge of our circle. We typically call that a radius. It's weird to think about how you actually do something, right? How you draw a figure, but that's how you do something. You, you're drawing a circle by 
sticking your finger in, a sand, in the sand and having a rope uh, away from it and using a stick to draw. That, that's, that's how people created circles initially. So that's our, our idea of a circle. It's, it's some radius, some distance away from some center, which we're going to call HK. And the set of points that we get, all these infinite number of points connected to make our circle have the coordinates x comma y, just like normal points do. With this in mind, I'll give you the equation for a circle, and we'll come back to this next time. Here's the equation for a circle. If our center is h comma k, and every point on our, our circle is x comma y, and we have this radius r, the equation for a circle is x minus h squared, y minus k squared equals r squared. Now, this is going to be kind of cool. Do you remember how y means up and down and x means left and right? That's where our co coordinates are. Mm -hmm. Notice how we're in, in parentheses here, we're in parentheses here. What if this minus h, minus h in our type 1 parabola, ignore this type 2 stuff, we're, we're done with dealing with y as our independent variable. We now have two independent variables, x and y. So ignore this for a second. My question is, what did this minus h typically mean? This was left or right. Minus meant left. No. Minus meant right. This k meant up or down, right? Minus means up here. Notice how it's in parentheses? Notice how it's in parentheses there? So it's like the opposite idea that we had. So this right here means our left and right still. This means our up and down still. In fact, our vertex, you can see it, our vertex is, our center is found by h comma k. Our points are given by x and y. We're going to talk about some specifics next time. I'll show you exactly how to deal with that stuff. All right, so we're talking about circles. We, we know these circles are these, these round shapes. And, and basically, you make one up by, by sticking something something in the sand and, and getting a, a piece of string and, and drawing a uh, set of fixed points around that, that stick. Or, or basically we, we just draw a set of points around some fixed center is what we call it. Our center is always given by, by h comma k. It's going to be somewhere on your graph. R is the distance from the center of your circle to the, uh, sorry, to the actual, actually outside of your, your, your circle there, the, the actual points. Every point is given by x comma y. So we have this shape that we're really familiar with. We just have never learned the, the equation and how to manipulate it. So we're going to look at that today. So our equation is right here. We have x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared. You can see a lot of squares on that, right? Even looks a little bit like the Pythagorean theorem because you have square plus square. It's not the Pythagorean theorem. It's a, it's a definition of a circle. But I do want you to notice that a lot of things that we're familiar with in parabolas work here. For instance, with our parabolas, when we had this minus, if, if, I, if you ignore that for a second, that looks a whole lot like a parabola, doesn't it? And that right there would say that this is a, a left or right shift. You follow me? That h was a left or right shift. That's actually how we get our x coordinate. Notice how h and h, h goes with x, isn't it? That, that is our, how we get our x coordinate. It's, we're either a left or right shift. Minus means right, just like it did before. Plus means left, just like it did before. You with me on that? Now the y, y tells us our height, right? So that y minus k, that k was also a shift up or down. Now, however, in, unlike parabolas where that plus k was up and the minus k was down, it's in parentheses now. And, and we know that really any time we have something in parentheses, it's kind of backwards of what we want to say it is. So whereas a minus would mean right and a plus would mean left, a minus means up and a plus means down as far as the shifting goes for the center of our circle. Are you okay with that? 
So that's how it's going to work. Very similar to the shifting of a, of a parabola. And you'll notice that that's also how we find our center here, too. That minus k, that's given us part of the center of our circle, the y-coordinate. Let's look at an example and see exactly how this works as far as finding the center of our circle goes. So let's do... Firstly, I need you to be very good at identifying that this thing is actually a circle. How do you tell when something's a circle? Well, well, here it is. You need something squared some plus something squared equals a number. So is it a circle? Do I have something squared? Yes. Do I have the plus? Now, I'm going to really emphasize the plus here because our, our next shapes have a minus there and they're going to be different. All right, so there's a plus, there's a, a square. There's a square equals a number. That's definitely a circle. Are you okay with the idea that this is a circle? Really, we're looking for square, square with a plus in the middle of it. That's the whole de definition of a circle. X, plus, X squared and a Y squared, and we, we have some plus. Now, we, we also have to identify a couple things about it. We've got to identify the radius. We've got to identify the center. But have you noticed that with circles, all you really need is two pieces of information. You need where that circle's centered, and you need how far apart to put your your points. That's really it. So if we can identify those two things, we should actually be able to graph this, and that's what we're going to do here. So let's go ahead and, and try to identify that. Can you tell me, by looking up here, how much is the radius? A lot of people are going to say 9, but I want you to look at that. This is the radius squared. So could you write this as something squared? Yeah, you could. You could actually write it as Same thing on the left hand side, but yeah, we could write that as 3 squared. That means the radius isn't 9, is it? The radius isn't just that number right there. I'll tell you what, on a multiple choice test, of course, what am I going to have is one of the options for an answer. Nine. I'm going to have an option for the radius of 9. Of course, I mean, because a lot of people, if they don't understand this, you're going to go, oh yeah, the radius is 9. Yay, I win. And you're going to see the problem on your test and be like, yes, 10 points. Nope, 0 points. Because you need to understand what this formula says. This formula says that this number right here is the square of the radius. So whatever you have here, how are you going to find the actual radius? Square. Square. Not square, this is already square. You're going to unsquare it. What's unsquare it mean? <laughs> You're going to square root. You're going to find the square root it. So what's the square root of 9? That's your radius. So let's identify a couple things here. This is the only two things we got we got to do. Identify the center. <coughs> Identify the radius. Again, our radius is the square root of whatever number you have here. Why? Because we can write it as this number to the second power, or our radius squared. So right now, our radius is 3. That's kind of an important thing to know, right? If you had 9, your radius is going to be 3 times as long as what it should be. It's going to be a big circle rather than a, a normal size circle that we should have here. Way too big of a circle. Now, the center is also really important. We've got to be able to translate this into finding the center. If our center is x minus h and, and y minus, if it's given by the h and the k, let's look at that. What is our h here? Two. 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 And, and if you look at that, it says minus two, that would be, now this is going to be a little bit, hopefully not weird for you because it, it works just like a parabola did earlier. Is our center negative two comma something or two comma something? Think about it before you answer. Negative 2 or 2? What do you think? 2. 